Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Mayhem 061. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a little update on my amphibian room. Uh, so here we go. Let's get started. Just close this door. Uh, so same as usual over here, we have my Bombina Orientalis, also known as Fire Billy Toads. I have uh, two males in there. The ten-gallon tank. I just saw one jump. I like hiding behind this little filter area. That's one of them. Just see if I can focus. There you go. So that's him. It's just like a little water bowl. This is a Zoom Ed Light. It is not heated. Because this room is entirely heated at the moment. Uh, over here is uh, these are two little critter keeper things. I'm going to be getting a baby. American green tree frog because they're pretty small. They don't need that big of a habitat, so I'm gonna be getting one in this. And in here, I'm gonna be getting an African praying mantis. So I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be picked up from the Long Island Reptile Expo in Melville uh, on the 23rd this Sunday. Over here is uh, Coffee, my white tree frog. He's awesome doing fine. Uh, that's his calcium dish. He just jumped. There's usually wax worms in there. He probably ate them all. That's the bamboo. Uh, fern tube of toilet paper. Some spagamots that I have to water later. This is coffee right here. Oh, he does not want to be handled right now. Understand. Okay. Over here on my dendrobotis azurus, or also known as uh, Tinctorus. Common name is uh, Blue River Dark Frogs from the Amazon. I have a male and a female. Female is still gravid, hasn't produced any tadpoles or laid any eggs yet. It's a zoom in waterfall I'm back. These are both uh, 12 by 12 by 18 exoterra tanks. I'm looking forward to picking up another four of these at the expo. This one here is just my little hermit crab setup. I have to put some moss and substrate in there, I know. This is just, uh, cause there was a lot of, what's that shit called? Bacteria and fungus growing its old habitat. Okay, so that's this tank. For now. In here. So. Wow, these guys actually just hatched. Finally. Uh, these are Turkish gliders. Turkish glider, uh, fruit flies. I ordered them for my dendrobotus. I'm pretty happy now because they hatched. Yeah. Down there's just some sphagnum moss, quick keeper. And that's about it for now. Oh, yeah, my hornworms are in here. I'm not sure how they're doing. I fed them a little bit ago, but I don't feel like opening that up because they smell pretty bad. And yeah, that's my room so far. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, yeah, down here, some wax worms. Uh, Indian almond leaves, flukers, and this is my whole shelf of food for my animals. Uh, I had more in there, I don't know where it went. Uh, we have the flukers cricket diet, hermit crab food, beta food for no reason, uh, dried up crickets. My mom used to make me feed them dried because she did not like live feeding. Uh, these mealworms. Uh, I never really opened them up. Again, same thing with the mealworms. My mom didn't like live feeding. But now I can feed them live stuff. And more hermit crab food. Up there, a Jurassic Diet. Uh, water clarifier. And that's my hermit crab again. Let me just put this stuff back and then I'll show you a little bit more. Oh, uh, make sure to check out my video. I'm going to be posting a little bit too. Like about an hour or so on my... On how to set up a praying mantis tank. And how to set up a green tree frog tank. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.